Okay, let's have the shear and moment diagram. Construction the shear moment diagram for for girder for a girder. Construct the shear moment diagram for the girder shown. So these are the loads. Let's mark the supports as one, two, three, four, five, and six. So first, let's consider one and two. So summation moment about one equals zero. So R two times 3.5 equals 15 times 2 plus 3 times uh, 6.5 times half of 6.5, 3.25. So R sub 2 is equal to 26.679 kilonewtons. Next, let's consider 3 and three, 3 and 4. So this is the figure. Let's cut it. Take note that there is a support here. This support uh, is common to this beam, this floor, and that floor there. So, summation moment about 4 just to the left equals 0, clockwise positive. So, R sub 4 times 4 equals 12 times 7 plus 4 times 7 times half of 7, 3.5. So R3 is 45.5 kilonewtons, while R4 left times 4, summation moment about 3 equals 0 plus, so we consider R4 left to be downward, so plus 4 times 7 times Point 0.5, this is point 0.5, then equals 12 times 3. So R4 left is 5.5 kilonewtons. Because 4 and 5 is entirely loaded, then by symmetry, R4 right is equal to R5 left. It is equal to 4 times 8 divided by 2 or 16 kilonewtons. So that's 16. This is also 16 R5 left. Then lastly, consider 5 and 6. Summation moment about 6 equals 0. Clockwise positive. R5 right, the reaction just the right of 0.5 times 7. Then equals 18 times 2 plus 10 times 4. So R5 right is 10.857. So let's put it there it should be upward then the reaction at 6 is not important as well as at 1 then let's transmit these reactions at 2, 3, 4 and 5 because they are now pushing the girder below so R2 is 26.679 it should be downward this is RA, this is RB there and R2 26.679 downward R3 is 45.5 downward. R4 is, we have R4 left downward. R4, 16, so 16 minus 5.5, 10.5 downward. 10.5 downward. Then at 5, 16 plus 10.857, 26.857. Downward. So this is the loading condition for girder. Now there are problems where the weight of the girder is to be considered. So be careful with that. In this case, the weight of the girder is ignored. So these are just the loadings. So that's 3 meters, 3, 4, 8, 3. So summation moment about B equals 0. RA times 18, the distance is 18, equals 26.853 times 3 plus 10.5 times 11 plus 45.5 times 15 then plus 26.679 times 21. <laughs> Solving for RA, RA is 79.935 kilonewtons. Likewise, summation moment about A equals 0 counterclockwise positive, so RB times 18 plus 26.679 times 3 equals 45.5 times 3 plus 10.5 times 7 
plus 26.857 times 15. So RB is 29.601. So you have to check RA plus RB should be equal to this total downward load. And it checks. So for the shear diagram, first we go down. Uh, negative 26.679 in kilonewton, the shear diagram, moment diagram in kilonewton meter. So we go down by the ordinator is negative 26.679. Then constant, then plus RA, negative 26.679 plus 79.935, that would be equal to 53.256, then there's no change in shear here, constant only. 53.256 minus 45.5 is equal to 7.756. Between this point and that point, there's no change in shear, so it's just constant. 7.756 minus 10.5 is negative uh, 2.744. And from here to here, there's no change in shear. Negative 2.744 minus 26.857 is negative 29.601. Then constant, then plus RB, which is 29.601, so that's why the shear diagram closes. Then for the moment diagram, before that, let's compute the area. This is negative 26.679 times 3, so that's negative 80.037. The area of this diagram is 53.256 times 3, 159.768. 7.756 times 4, 31.024. Negative 2.744 times 8, negative 21.952, the area. The area of this rectangle is negative 29.601 times 3, negative 88.803. So from zero moment at here, then we, we have a constant slope state line downward negative 80.037 0 plus negative 80.037 then negative 80.037 plus 159.768 state line should be 79.731 then plus 31.024 that would be 110.755, straight line only because 0 degree, 1st degree here. And it goes down, 110.755 minus 21.952 is equal to 88.803, then minus 88.03. So the moment diagram also closes. Now for the elastic curve, there's only one point of contraflexion or point of inflection, which is this. Let's project it. And we have negative moment here, so it is concave downwards somewhere here. And here it's concave up because the moment diagram is now positive. So for the elastic curve, it looks that way. So this is the shear and moment diagram construction for this girder and the corresponding elastic curve. So that's it for this problem.